Kirby fans, welcome back to the channel. Again, those of you new to the channel, make sure you slap the subscribe button, ding that bell to never miss another notification of upcoming episodes. And all new viewers, um, thanks for coming. If you're enjoying the content, just make sure you check out the other videos. And if you like what you see, slap that subscribe button. I've had a bit of a request from Gerald Bosch. Um, so this video is a bit inspired by him. I'm going to be doing a bit of a comparison between the old shampoo system and the new shampoo system. So we're going to see if there's any difference and if it cleans a lot better. So we'll get straight to it. I thought I'd do a bit of a, a boxing match. So again, in the red corner, we've got the Avalia uh, 100th edition, um, weighing at 23.4 pounds. And then we've got the Centria 2, um, weighing at 23.4 pounds. So the only, the only difference between them, as you know, is the shampoo system. The new shampoo system on the Avalia runs with a new brush roll, a V brush roll, and the Drew 2 runs with the old system. There's a few more bristles on there. It's not a V-shaped system. We've got a collection tray that's removable on the Avalia, and then obviously the collection tray on this one isn't removable. You have to take the whole system off. So the advantage with that is you can just literally take it out and empty it, and then put it straight back in. With the old system, you've got to actually unhitch it all, take it out, empty it, put it back on. That's the only real hardship with the older system. But we're going to see what sort of difference it actually makes with the cleaning, if it puts more foam down. I prefer this because it's got an easier cleaning system to take out, just to empty the tray and you're not dripping foam everywhere. To me it's a lot easier. Obviously the old system, I was used to that anyway. But this system here has been going since the G3 back in 1991. So it is an old system. Um, the shampoo system itself is brand new, it's never been used. Same with, well, the Avalia one, I used it the other day, so it's only been used once. So there's no real disadvantages to either. The turning circle on these is probably a little bit easier because of the shape of the wheels. So what we'll do is we'll run with the sentry first, see how that goes, see how clean it come, turns out, and then we'll jump over to the Avalia, see how that lays the foam, whether it cleans. Now this mat is 10 years old. There's a little bit of auto sol on this side and this side from where I've been cleaning Kirby's. And there's a few dark spots that might want coming out. I've put some tape down the middle. So we'll see how this actually goes. I wasn't going to go through showing you how to fill the shampoo tanks and, and all that because you should know if you've watched my previous videos, I've gone through that. The only system I will, the only thing I will be showing, I always recommend that you use the floor, floor the carpet floor for Napa to get that nap back up on the carpet. Now they seem to have dropped that with the Avalia. This is a wall carpet anyway, so it's pretty thick. The nap goes that way anyway. So we'll have a look, and what we'll do after is we'll use the fluffer on this. We can't use the fluffer on that side because that hasn't got one, but we'll see how it actually dries out and whether this dries better than that one. And if that's the case then, you might be better off using a floor napper to, to raise it again. So yeah, let's go straight to it. With the Centria system, you can adjust the foam on and off. What they recommend is you push it down to the carpet so it catches. And then go one more. And I think we're only one trip off all the way down anyway. So there you go, we're all the way down now. So what we'll do is we'll run it all the way down, exactly the same as the Avalier. So you're getting more depth on it with the cleaning. And we'll turn around. So those with headphones, make sure you remove them. So we'll turn our shampoo on. In the back, you don't need to in drive. And we'll see how we go.
So I'm making sure I do it fair. We've got a nice even layer. We're going to leave that to evaporate and soak in. And then we'll see what the results are on that. So what I'll do, I'll just take this off. So as you can see, obviously we've got, it's, it's a wool carpet, so it's pulling a bit of wool out. I think that's just surface, but yeah. Um, looks like a little bit of dirty water in there. And that's literally what we got just off one side. This is a, a four foot mat by seven foot long. Okay. So contestant number two is the Avalier. So we've got, we're just up to the first line on the tank. We'll wipe it all the way down. Turn on to shampoo. Let's see how we go. Okay, so here's the other one. Now with this system, there doesn't seem to be any carpet in there whatsoever. So I'd say that this system is a bit more gentle. We obviously with the V shape, but we'll see what the results are when they dry. So with the floor napper, we make sure our foam's turned off. And so that's all the way up. And we literally hook her on. Over and turn that down. Pull down, like so. You don't have it in dry if you keep it in neutral. So we'll just see whether this three naps the actual nap back up and we'll see what it looks like after. So let's use the napper for those of you who haven't used the napper. You literally get your finger and just see which way the pile goes. Perhaps it's that way. We'll do it that way. Wall out the carpet. That's with the napper. So this is the result with the floor napper. You can see it's pulled up quite a lot of wool off the carpet. So I think that's probably why Kirby went away from this system and not re-napping it. Because yes, it resets the nap, but if you've got a wall carpet, I mean, obviously you're not going to be doing it every week, but over what's that, three foot by seven foot, you're losing that amount of carpet, not to mention what we picked up in the uh, shampoo system. So here's the results of the shampoo. Now they did both start off on the full, on the first line, um, but what I can see is literally the Centria used a little bit more shampoo than what the Avalier did. So that's putting a lot, that's getting your carpet a lot more wetter, whereas this is putting a lot less on. But again, it seem, seemed to take less carpet off the carpet, whereas the Centria 
seemed a bit more aggressive. So I'm assuming that's why Kirby changed those bristles. So it's only fair to see what this actually picked up. Wind the belt off and we'll see what, if this has actually pulled any carpet up inside the back of the shampoo system. So as you can see, there's a lot less picked up from this. So it's a lot gentler on your carpet. That's a bit there. So if we compare that to what the Centria picked up, there was a lot more carpet there. So I think this fee system is a lot gentler on the carpet. At the moment the carpet's drying and, and the pattern seems pretty fine. So what I'll do is we'll just zoom into that. So this is the other layer side. The pile doesn't seem that flat. You can see, you zoom in, pattern's still there. drawing at the moment. Okay, didn't get that off but I probably just sp I probably should have sprayed that with some scuttle first and um, I wasn't expecting it to anyway. So many suggestions if you've got any stains just spray it with a bit of scuttle. I can't think what the new term for it is um, but that's what we used to call it when we're deming. Over to the centre side. So again looks pretty cleanish. In fact yeah so my only suggestion would be I'll just spray it first with a bit of stain pre-treatment that Kirby do before shampooing if you've got any stains obviously well, I didn't on this one so obviously that was a bit unfair because I think the other layer side Add a bit more of a stain on it than the centrier side, but they both seem to have done a reasonable job. But at the moment, I'm fa I tend to be favouring the other layer um, purely because of the amount of carpet it's not pulling out. It just seems a lot more gentle. Thanks for watching. I hope you really enjoy the episode. Hope there's a good comparison between the two shampoo systems, and you can see the pros and cons of each. And again, those of you new to the channel, make sure you slap the subscribe button and ding that bell to get notifications. Don't forget, we're trying to hit that 250 mark so we can get five more lucky fans get through to the next round to win the competition. So I'd like to thank all the subscribers, all the viewers. Without you viewers and your subscribers, this channel wouldn't be available. So again, thanks a lot. Keep up the good work, keep the viewing, and I'm hoping I'm giving the, the quality and the content that you guys deserve. So again... Make sure you slap the subscribe button, ding that bell, and I'll see you in the next episode.